Well, hello my friends. On this video, I'm going to show you how to go from something as dirty as this suede leather boot to this clean suede leather boot. So, hang on and I'm going to take you step by step on the process of cleaning suede leather shoes or boots. Stay with me. So these are my clean boots. This is an end result. And uh, if you watch the rest of the video, I'm gonna show you how to achieve this after having dirty, dirty suede boots or shoes. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, of course, untie the laces and have ready some warm water. Not burning hot, but warm. This will help the leather to open up and the dirt to soften, to get softer and to be easier, it's gonna make it easier to remove with a stiff brush, you'll see. So first, you gotta soak the boots in this water for about 10 minutes. I think this bucket is a little too small for the boots, but I'm gonna leave them five minutes like this and then five minutes I'm gonna turn them around to get the toe cap. Okay, that's your first step. Okay, meanwhile, you put some uh, hot water on a cup, inside a cup. You use saddle soap, pumpkin soap or saddle soap. This is the brand that's most popular here in Mexico. It's uh, You can find it as under the name of saddle soap or pumpkin soap. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my knife and put a big dab like this inside the water. And it has to be hot so the soap will dissolve. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more because the boot is really, really dirty. Uh, there you go. The thing about saddle soap is that it has natural oils and it helps clean and moisturize your boot at the same time. See how the warm water dissolves the soap really, really fast? Okay. Now, I guess, I bet your boots are ready. Mine are. I'm gonna take them out of the bucket. Drain all the water out. I don't wanna make a huge mess. Because this, this job is messy, you're gonna get everything wet. So if you want to do it outside or on a table that won't matter if it gets wet, like me, there you go. So now the boots are soaking wet and you can start brushing away. I'm gonna use this stiff nail brush. A toothbrush I found it to be a little too soft, so you wet the brush and you start brushing away.
after you're finished brushing, you should put the boot back in the water again so that the soap, the excess soap, would be washed off. So you can leave them in here for another five minutes if you want. It won't hurt any. Okay, so now that the boots have been brushed, you need to rinse them out. You know, take the soap out of the leather as much as you can. Well, not as, it's not really that important. Just need to work them, work them out a little bit more. Your boots to dry in an upside down position. You can, uh, you know, stick them in something like uh, maybe a broom, a broomstick or something like this, and leave them out to dry for at least one day in the shade. It's really important for it to be shade, cool, and ventilated area in order for the leather to dry faster and in the most efficient way without ruining the leather. Don't heat the leather up to try to speed the drying process. No, don't use hot air. Don't put them out in the sun near fire. Just let them dry out naturally in the shade. That's the best advice I can give you. So I'm gonna use a, a broomstick and I'm gonna stick my boot upside down. And there you go. There's my boot on a broomstick, upside down, on a shaded place, ready to be dry. There you have it guys. How to wash suede. These are my desert boots by Altama army boots excellent quality really comfortable lightweight breathable I love them that's why I take care of them so they last many many more years Altama desert military boots hope you like the video Please comment, subscribe, give me advice because I sometimes don't know what I'm doing. That would be very appreciated. Thanks for watching.